cares about ReZero, man? This is gonna be anime of the year. Dun, dun, dun. It's starting off with an opening immediately with Creepy Nuts, right? Let's check it out. Huh? This guy is threatening this girl that if you don't give me money, then we're not gonna go on a date. Does that make any sense, bro? They're dating? I mean, if you're not putting out and you're broke, that implies that they're literally dating. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What a way to start the anime episode, bro. Just, just bizarre ass boyfriend girlfriend situation where he just, they're both like trying to beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> She's uh, kind of a delinquent too, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's gotta be a limit on how much like gal, right? If we have like a spectrum of like what a gal or like a gyaru is, right? Kitagawa Marin. Who else is like a recent gal? The girl from like uh, Days of My Stepsister. I, I think they're at, like a six or a seven, right? They're like a six or a seven. This girl has literally transcended into warlock status of a gal. She is at the pinnacle of gal. If this is not a 10 out of 10, this is like a 13, like transcending the limits of what it means to be a gal. Look at this fucking makeup. She looks like she's from the Aztec ruins, bro. Trying to make a, like a prophecy of something bad's gonna happen. First boyfriend, really? Ooh. Ken Takakura must be like a celebrity. You're into guys that look like that? He doesn't really look any... Who am I to judge looks, but goddamn. Masculine actor? What, a, what an entitled, selfish, little absorbed girl. So far, that's what this girl is. Why don't I have that famous masculine actor boyfriend? Woe is me. So that's how we're getting introduced to one of the most main characters of this show. Okay. Okay, the bully kid. That's the other main character. What do you think? Oh, you piece of shit. You... Rock wasn't... Pa just paper wasn't enough? You're gonna put like a solid object in there? This motherfucker needs to suffer. Oh, protecting him! This is definitely a better redeeming quality, right? So far, she seemed like a very self-absorbed person. Woe is me, but going out of- Going out to bat for the bullied kid? That's nice. All the guys are intimidated by her. Maybe she has clout in the school. Did she just call him scum? He like couldn't answer? I don't know. Or, or what was that? Nah. Like, is it because he didn't answer? Or it's because like she's pretty much done her job and they're no longer gonna bully him. Therefore, she's like stepping out. I'm not really sure. <laughs> She's just gonna say this shit, not making eye contact, looking the exact other way, Giga Chad. Oh, he's shooting this shot! He's like, yo, are you into me? I'm down to be your boyfriend. Hmm? Project Pegasus, uh, UFOs, UFO Aliens, UFO Mars Landing. I love how he'll never make eye contact. He's like, brave enough to approach her like this, 
but just faces the exact other way looking at us when talking to her. UAP. Damn, Space Wars. I love the art style of this show. I am fucking just like the whole visuals, right? Just like the first like four minutes now, it's very, very stable, consistent. The drawing, the lines, it seems more bold. It definitely feels way different from any of the other animes we're watching recently. <laughs> She's going through it. That's so mean. But is she wrong? Maybe she felt a little bit too bad about that. Yeah, that, that was a bit too much, right? At least she apologized, but god fucking damn. Oh, she coming back. Peak walking animation. Hi. This is the difference between this and Days with My Stepsister or Frieden. That was not filler animation. Mm -hmm. The entirety of the sequence here was peak cinema. This is cinema. This is how you set the fucking tone. Don't act like you fucking eating for fucking 30 seconds builds up the mood of the atmosphere. Look! Look at how she felt bad actually started to walk forward and the walking animation is so vibrant, so vivid, picks it up, dusts the magazine off, and then says something nice to her, right? This is peak cinema. Not fucking freedom. When you just see the fucking sky for five seconds and see motherfuckers walking over a lock, don't give me that shit. Fuck days of my stepsister too. Every one of those is gonna get straight bullets from me right now. Giga chat. <laughs> Giga chat. I thought he'd be a little bitch and like back down, but he's immediately just be like loser. <laughs> you think ghosts exist? Nah, man. They're like polar opposites, right? He believes in aliens, doesn't believe in ghosts, and the exact opposite for her. <laughs> Oh. <笑>あんたちょれてた人が切れ遅れんだよ。綺麗な病気でも起きますから。幽霊が優勝。幽霊を乗せてもらったことあんのかよ。議論が飛躍しすぎて。Maybe in this episode. Yeah. The whole personality attitude of like not caring what other people think is amazing, but I think this is a misunderstanding. But at the same time, it's not really, because this is probably going to be a ship eventually, right? I mean, their personalities and their like who they are, the personalities aren't honestly that different in terms of like matching like the aggression, right? Look at them just going at it. But like you would never expect them to be together, but I feel like this is a beautiful relationship in the making. <laughs> UAP. Alright, we're at a haunted hospital. That was fast. She's very scared of haunted hospitals. It feels like this is where a ghost should show up rather than a UFO. How convenient, right? How can you confirm that I've never met them? I have my memories erased, bro. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Regressive hypnosis, bro. The mental gymnastics at play to prove whether or not a UAP exists or not. I think that um, rather than going with this bullshit logic, um, here's a very clever trick that I'll teach you guys. It's called the devil's proof. And I personally hate it, but it's a logical fallacy. The devil's proof is basically this. How can you prove the existence of God? You can't. You've never seen God. But at the same time, you cannot disprove it because you've never seen him, right? It's this, this logical fallacy where you cannot prove nor disprove, therefore it's up in the air, 
you know, maybe there, it exists, maybe it doesn't, but that's basically the devil's proof. So now you can say the same shit here. It's like, okay, UAPs might not exist, but what if it does? You've never seen it. You've never confirmed it, right? How could you possibly say that? Where'd he go? Haunted tunnel? Nothing like, you know, scary shows in Japan where it's it's always a haunted tunnel or like a phone booth or some sort of like haunted like house, like a broken down house. The tunnel is a classic. Okay. <laughs> <Little bit. laughs> what was that? What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> Wow. Hey boy, <laughs> Is he trying to hype himself up by singing? What's happening? Too shy, shy boy in this moment. <laughs> I love this kid. Both the girl and the guy are hilarious. The girl is like a gal, kind of, right? I'm a delinquent type. Definitely not a pretty little dainty little girl no 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 she gets down to fucking business and then the guy is like this shy otaku but he's not really too shy he kind of just like throws himself out there it's this weird like he should be an introvert but he just like pushes himself forward and throws himself into these situations i like both of them so far very quirky yeah. No, it's all online bullshit. You're both the same. You say the same shit. No, this is where you hit them. H have you heard of regressive hypnotism? Well, you see, when you see a ghost, they actually erase your memories afterwards. Yeah, just hit him back with that. Damn, shit just got heavy. Just live story coming out. Damn, okay, no parents, only grandma. Okay, nothing was there. Yeah. What's that? Until recently. Based. Based. Very good girl. He's like, people used to make fun of me for doing this dumb ritual. And when you're a kid and you're getting fun like that, especially by a guy like you like, bro. I would fucking never go to school again. But she doesn't back down. She's very strong. And she might have fucked up by saying, you know, Grandma, I hate you for doing this. But at the same time, she values her family more than superficial random kids at school. That's, that's a very good personality trait. Why am I heart to heart right now? True. This is peak granny. I mean, she's still peak granny, but like we can't really see her eyes right now. But what is, what is granny looking prime for him? Because in the trailer, like, god damn, she's already looking real nice. Okay. I think that's totally fair. It, the faith comes from her strong bond and connection with grandma. But for this kid, I wonder what it is. Yo, there's bloody footsteps across the fucking tunnel. Hello? How is... Um... Um... They're, they're too busy talking to each other. They're too getting comfortable. I have no realization, and I don't know what I missed during the hospital. Maybe there's some such shit going on in the hospital scenes that I forgot too, but like, they're just talking and having a good time, so they're just going in blind. So, so oh. Did I miss a sussy scene? Is it, was it in the hospital? I want to see. 
What was the sussy ass scene? I, I want to see. Where is it? Is it more back? It's the hospital scenes, right? I, I, I want to I wanna know. I want to know a little detail. It's way back. All right. All right, all right, all right. I, I actually want to see this. I do. I do. I genuinely. Is it way early, way early back? Like, like this back? Maybe somewhere when she first went in? Okay, when she first went in. What's going on? Is there something missing? Ah, I don't know. Right there? Right there? You guys are like five minutes behind when, you, when she first went in. Okay, okay, okay. Boom. Mm. Mm. Teddy bear? Someone is moving? I don't know. Oh, I'm getting scared looking at this. Oh, okay, let it play. All right, let, let, let's just let it play. This head? This head? Because I didn't see anything move here. Like, not. Where? Where? Ah! It moved! Oh! It moved! Ah! Ah! <laughs> there it is. That's it. That's all I wanted to see. <laughs> that's all I wanted to see right there. Okay, that's it. So, in the tunnel, there's bloody footsteps <laughs> along the wall. And this thing? I don't know what the hell this thing is, but it's fucking moving. Okay. That's it, that's it. Alright, let's get back to where the main story was. We were doing talking, talking, reflection, backstory, talking, talking, grandma. I love grandma so much. You must like it for a reason. He does, because it's easier for him. Was there anything that happened there? Hold up. I expected some sh between the flickering of the lights for something to show up and disappear, but I don't think so. I don't see anything. Bro, the footsteps. Bro, the footsteps! We're cooked. We're cooked. Ah! <laughs> not you, Granny. You, your titties are not the one that I want to suck on. You're, you're not the. You're, you're not her. You're not the Granny I want. You don't even. She still has teeth though. <laughs> Gums. I. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she got great head game, man. You never know. She got a lot of fucking experience over those years. That was not ordinary. The tunnel. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> her nickname is Turbo Granny. No one will outrun her in this tunnel. Turbo Baba. How did her phone get affected by the supernatural, bro? What? He's getting the best gum of his life right now. He's sick. He's sucking on our teats, and that weenie is being gummed on. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. UAP! うん。あ、こんにちは、女の人。女。我々はセルポ聖人。プラネットセルポ。怖がらないで、我々は有効的な人たちです。Are you sure? You ripped it apart. What do you mean proper care? I guess the proper care for them. I love how she's still being defiant. Okay. Nope. So you need to evolve by using other hosts that are women and then clone more of them until you want to evolve again. Hmm. 
なので我々は人間のようなが欲しいバナナは今から<笑> Imagine showing this frame to a random person that's like, like, bro. Wow, I want to get into anime. Do you guys have any recommendations? Just show them this frame. Did you show them this single clip or a frame? That's it. We will now have sex. Okay. Is that his banana? Uh oh. What the hell was that? With this hair? Oh no! This is so creepy now. Ew. I'm so sharp! Oh, Kost-kun! Through the phone? The foot came through the phone and look at his toenails, man! Oh, Colt Kun, what happened? You did it. That's with the granny, right? Turbo Baba? <laughs> Give me your bananas! Turbo Baba! Versus the clone alias, you want some? Here's some head. Oh. No, he's in there. I thought it was Turbo Baba. No, he's in there right now. Does that mean he just bit another dude's crotch? Yes, it does. Give me that weenie! Or else? Oh! Oh, that's what they really look like, the aliens! This is just a fucking skin suit! Give me your weenies. Give me your banana. Give me your weenie. Suck on my titties. Give me your banana. What did he say? Our cherished bananas. I mean, he, this is literally his dick that she, he cut off right now in his mouth. You banana thief? Sarpoyan form serpogrammetry, but... Who's saying? Oh no, he the alien saying. I I thought that I thought that Occult Kun was saying it, implying that the supernatural knew about the aliens. No, that's not what's happening right now. Okay. This is not amiable. There it is. She trusted in Granny. That's why the belief in a in, in supernatural shit ghost. He just has no fucking friends and thought that Ailey would be his friend. That's so sad. Oh, bro did everything but try to make friends. <laughs> I know it's not as easy, right? If you're super introverted and you might be the victim of being bullied, but bro really did everything but try to relate to other people and make friends. Oh, that backstory is actually so hard touching, man. Maybe she's thinking in her head that, damn, this guy masculine as fuck. Just like that Ken guy. Maybe he is Ken for me. Yeah, you're looking real manly now. That lasted like a fucking like five seconds, bro. Five seconds of glory. No, come on, get back up. Okay. I mean, that is implying that they have tried this with men too, not just women. 
Chi? Granny, take your chi out. Oh. Oh. And then, how do I get my chi out? <laughs> Is it working? No! This is the moment that she meant during the whole talk about I'm sure I said something mean to Granny before. That's so sad. But no, it sounds like this chi, it sounds like it's like an aura, right? Like an armor of like aura to prevent, you know, supernaturals from fucking with you. <laughs> Cameraman, chill. Cameraman, chill. That's really low. Oh! Here it is! <laughs> See, I thought based off the trailers, only he had like superpowers and you could transform and he's like protecting her, but nah. She also has unlocked like this like Esper power. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, if you're gonna do exposition like that, I'm gonna just believe that thanks to the alien interference, she has basically just like overflown chakra potential beyond what would be possible for her. Look at that! The moon is taking. No, no, because it's an invisible spaceship. The, whatever, no, it's not the moon, I, I don't know, but this is like when whatever alien spacecraft territory they're in, UAP, I, I'm not really sure, but it looks like the moon is being destroyed here, right? Fake moon, UFO, UAP! Give me your weenie. Give me your weenie. Herbal bubble. <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> Turbo Baba, stop! Turbo Baba, stop! I have possession of that kid's weedy. This lady cannot be stopped. <laughs> How the hell did the hag just call a child a hag? What? Dude, and he's still like running right now. He's still doing the running animation because he probably thinks he's in the tunnel still running away. <laughs> Goodbye, hospital. Jesus. Nice landing. Yeah, aliens and ghosts. Both real. Very real. Go back to the tunnel and get his weenie back. Get your weenie back. Oh, he gave me a shirt! What a gentleman! I think that both the births are at fault. No, we're gonna do it together. Because independence that was forged through isolation, right? Like, he doesn't want to rely on anybody. He can't think of having a friend ever. He doesn't have the self respect, it's never been created. Look at this. Like, the fact that he's asking, is it okay for someone like you to, like, help me, right? Kind of shows, like, how sad his entire life is because he's never had friends. Now, take your shirt back. I have your jacket. <laughs> he really thought she would just wear everything, the pants and the jacket and the shirt. He's like, come on, bro. Just, I, I only need this jacket. It looks cool this way, too, actually. Take your fucking shirt on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. 
なんでドキドキドキドキ Because you acknowledge him as a man right now? What's going on? Oh! He accidentally said like a famous actor line. Okay, okay. Ken. What's his name be Ken? <laughs> It's the last name, too! They're not even trying to fucking hide it! It's the identical name! <laughs> Yeah, right there. It's gushed. <laughs> That's her, bro. <laughs> She has just gushed. It's an explosion in her head, bro. She's like, yep. This is my man's, bro. <laughs> That's the episode. As this is how first episode should be done. This is how you hook an audience simply with episode one. There's a lot of different shows where the first episode is just all set up and no payoff. The average consumer is too short attention span and they will not even give it a three episode rule. This is how you tap into a variety wider appealing audience, man. This first episode is fucking phenomenal. Should I say 10 out of 10 episode? Maybe, man. Holy shit. Like, beyond just like the production value, first of all, soundtrack, just like visuals, goaded. The animation, Fucking phenomenal. Probably one of the best animated animes right now. The plot is basically boy and a girl. One believes in supernatural, one believes in like basically ghost versus aliens. And you know, both sides are not conceding to the other and they're saying, you know what, go to this place, you go to this place, and we'll prove if it's real or not. Turns out they're both fucking real. There's aliens that exist from this planet, like Ser uh, I don't even know what, like Serpium or something. I forget exactly. And We encounter the, the fucking, the Dash Baba, the Turbo Baba. There seems to be like a common folklore in Japan where I, I'm pretty sure this is not the first time I've heard this, but probably in Mob Psycho, wasn't there something similar where like a granny is like fucking chasing after you in the tunnel? So he has his Winnie taken and the Whalians kind of want, you know, her bananas. Who the fuck knows really what's going on? But both have unlocked powers. The, and his name is Ken as well, which is like the main actor that she likes too. So Ken has like these supernatural powers that he hasn't fully controlled it. He needs to surpass the Turbo Baba next episode to make this power truly his. While I have say, because of the alien brain wavelength modifications, which is basically alien aphrodisiac, she somehow unlocked like chakra outflow control beyond what should be possible. For her, I think. So both sides are getting cracked superpowers right now. And god damn. The romance is also great. In the span of one episode, they fleshed out both characters about why she believes in ghosts, right? About how she was being mean to Granny in the past and she felt bad. In fact, her getting bullied wasn't really necessary due to what Granny was telling her to do, but how other people were making fun of Granny. Great introspection. And for the guy, because he had no fucking friends, he thought the aliens were before him. And then the realization that they both kind of like are similar in a way and they're getting along and him being a super man and accidentally saying a line that Ken would say and it's like, what's your name? Ken. Explosion. That's a ship, bro. That's a fucking ship. This anime is phenomenal. Everyone should check this out. In terms of like first episodes, I, I think this is the best. Listen, I have a bias for ReZero season three. I love the lore and the story, but if we're gonna talk about how it's and like a, a single episode is appealing to a wider audience, this is how you do a hook. This is how you get people to give a fuck. And the opening and ending were fantastic too. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.